everybody, Jason Ryan here. What's going on? How is everybody doing? So in this week's snippet, we're talking about the importance of using live action reference and the proper way to use live action reference. So we've talked about having live action reference as being a, a start of a planning stage for your animation but also think about it like for help when you want to try to add some spice to a piece of animation that you're actually currently working on right and it's not that you have to know how to do like super cartoony moves or anything but you're going to use it and learn from it right so for example we have this character here that's going to come out sneak out like this he's going to look over towards screen left and then he's going to turn and run Right now, how do I transition between here? I know I want something in there. I want some sort of like a little anticipation, a little jump maybe, but how do I get that in there? How do I work that out? So I'm using live action reference like a study guide, right? So I'm not going to be a slave to it. I'm not going to be able to do this type of action myself because I don't even have these proportions and you shouldn't have to, right? So when I'm doing something like this, like, so let's say our blocking's like that. So I want to be able to get like from a move like this, into a run, right? So I go ahead and I shoot some live action reference with that in mind. Now, I already have the pose in mind, which makes it clearer for me, right? But now I want to try and figure out like how I'm gonna use the live action reference to make that work better. So I know I'm gonna be kind of coming around like this. I'm gonna look this way and then look and then do like this sort of skip into the run. And this is the sort of thing that I like to be able to study live action reference for. It's something that I'm not clear about and something that I want to be able to study. So I'm looking and I can go through it frame by frame. Use the technology that's at your hand, right? So use your phone, you know, to shoot yourself and then save it out to your computer, bring it to Flipbook or whatever software you want. And then I'm doing a little bit of a study here, right? So I'm looking at how I'm actually skipping from this side jumping from this one leg right so jumping off of my right leg and then landing on my right leg and then jumping off right using uh, the other leg as a sort of a thrusting kind of tool which is fantastic right i didn't know about this so i was like i knew i wanted to put put a jump in there but i probably would have went for a cliche move and sort of did like a spinning leg kind of action but i wanted something that had a little bit more grounded in reality right so again using like your your live action reference as sort of a teaching tool for yourself right so now we got this and now i'm basically did like a little bit of a step right here and then jump up and then the last leg to come down right here is the first leg to come down but you can see it's not exactly like the live action reference because it's pushed more but i'm still learning from the live action reference to help push it past that, right? So I don't want to be just limited to what I can do physically. I want to be able to learn from my live action reference to make my animation better, right?